Yum, yum. Uh, hello, everybody. This is Chris. Welcome to Pixel Fondue. Uh, this is a quick little intro video showing where some of this is heading. Uh, with just a little bit of uh, weight map work and using some containers, weight containers, you can see them over in the items panel. You can get a system where you can start having a lot of fun with your models. You can get you can get a lot of variety with just doing some of this sort of thing you're seeing right here. Bigger, smaller, different positions, things like that. I wanted to let you guys see kind of where this is heading as far as the modeling is concerned. Now I'm sending things back to sort of the beginning there. Then we'll get ready to start into the next uh, lesson. Right, that little group of nodes there is just controlling the mouth area. Ah, well, good morning. Welcome to Pixel Fondue. My name's Chris. So we're going to continue this project with this eyeball and this lid. We've pretty much got this ready to go. All right, this this works really well together. The weight maps are all in position. Everything hooks up correctly. Everything rotates correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this eyeball, duplicate it, make sure all of our labels are changed to make it a left eye. Uh, we're going to duplicate it, move it into position, and then get it set up to work with this. This right here. right? If you look carefully, this is a sub-demodeled head that's set up already ready to go. It's from William Vaughn and over at Pixel Fondue you can get a hold of this thing for free. Free download. It's a basic little head that you can have a good starting position to start doing some modeling. If you're new to modeling it's a nice thing to have so you can see what nice edge flow looks like. If you're an experienced modeler you've probably already got one but just in case you can go here to Pixel Fondue you can see the website here and get it for free. I'm going to use it because it was readily available and it's a good little resource for everybody to know about. So what we'll end up doing is taking the head, enlarging it a little bit, and then getting the eyeball duplicated into position. And hopefully I can do some sub-D modeling to get my head to look a little bit like this one I did before. Uh, I think I got a little bit lucky because I did this in the first shot. I think about it took a little less than an hour of tweaking around, looking at it, spinning it around, looking at it, moving them, moving things around, things like that. So I do think I got a little bit lucky. It looks pretty good as it is. And then from here, we'll have everything set up to get ready to go into ZBrush. And then we'll do some uh, high frequency uh, modeling and sculpting on the the head. Okay, so now what we're doing is uh. I'm just setting up a couple of simple controls for this so we can grab those and not have to grab the meshes. Uh, going through relabeling everything. I just duplicated that eyeball and I'm going to turn everything into the left eye now. Just some housekeeping stuff I've sped up really fast. All right, go change my UV maps, make sure everything's correct. Change the weight maps. Come in here. I'm just kind of organize this a little bit. Uh, those doubles, I can get rid of those. Clean things up. Put the lats at the top. All right. Some housekeeping. Get the other eyeball sort of organized in a similar fashion, so it's easy to understand and see. Now I'm connecting all these things up, getting the effectors, the deformers, and the meshes tied together. Again, this is just another minute or so of housekeeping, things like that. I'm just making sure everything's connected. You'll see here one of them that one isn't. I forget which one there it was. After the uh, changeover and after I relabeled things, it missed the weight map, so I had to go reconnect that. So right now I'm just making sure everything's hooked up. 
Okay. Now I'm back at zero point. Now I'm going to use these colors to try to help organize this a little bit. I kind of wish there was a color picker available there. Okay, now here comes this head mesh that I use as a starting base. I change it up a little bit later, but not too much. It's a good thing to start with. And I just go back into wireframe so I can kind of see where things are at. I start lining these up. Now I just go to the other side. Put the lattices into position. Or, or at least pretty close to it. Alright, start putting this into a little bit closer proximity to where I need it. Okay, not too bad. It's getting closer. There's nothing too mysterious about modeling. Okay, now I put all this together under one locator just for convenience. Now I'm jumping back into this and I'm going to just get the eyeballs and eyelids just a little bit more uh, in position. Now you see me starting to put in the mouth area. I end up putting up a whole mouth sack and some teeth in after I really mangle the mesh a little bit. That comes in later. You'll see it. You saw it a little bit at the beginning of this video. You'll see me uh, select a lot of things and then hit the smooth, right? Then I use a small, low iteration on the smooth sometimes just to kind of keep things from getting out of whack. That way points and things are a little bit more evenly spaced. So I'll hit things with light smoothing on occasion. And again, this is just the uh, basic tedium of... Uh, moving things into position. I'm just trying to get a nice loop around that eye that follows a similar arcs. Because that's where those weight maps will sit and hold everything into into position. Okay, here's a little bit of uh, side by side after I did a bunch of work. Uh, let's see, the one on the left is the one that we started with. So I was trying to get it somewhat close. We're not going to exactly copy it, though it would be nice. Uh, just getting the general idea because later on when we get all of our weight maps and deformers in place we're going to really change the look of this as needed we can get a lot of variety out of just a few controllers when you just put them in the right spots okay see ya yum yum